I want to introduce the first member who will be joining us for today's show. He's an NFL star for the New Orleans Saints. Of course, you might know he's also the, the swag Kazikage, as he likes to call himself. Welcoming back to the show, Jamal Williams. Well, Jamal, welcome back to the show, my brother. Always a pleasure to be able to chop it up with you. How you doing this fine day? I'm lovely. I'm peachy. I'm just having a great day, man. Yeah, that setup you got looks kind of tough, bro. What is that? Is that the gaming room? Yeah, this is my this is my gaming room at a temporary spot right now. But well, this is my house in uh, New Orleans. You know what I mean? So okay, I actually just trying to get it right. You know, I got my cats, just they little cat bed right here, just so they ain't <laughs> far away. And then I got my little recliner just in case I want to knock out real quick, you know, but. Honestly, this is my spot. This is my this is my peace zone. Well, Jamal, it's been a minute since we got to chop it up, my brother. So I do want to check in on you. I mean, outside of like football, how's the summer been treating you, bro? What you been up to? Really just been chilling, just enjoying playing football. Just grateful, just grateful to still do what I love to do. Uh, really hanging out with my daughter, hanging with my cats. Really just embracing life, enjoying it every day. Um, just trying to stay with the loved ones and the people who bring peace into my life. So. It's really been a great summer. I really just, just having love, having fun with life, having fun with just everything I'm doing and just being grateful for every day. Yeah, I hear that, man. I feel like you're, you're one of the most grounded players that I've gotten uh, to speak with, man. So I always appreciate that. But I thought you did something a little bit crazy, man. My notes tell me that that you was out over in Japan, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I was in Japan. Oh, you gotta, you gotta tell me about that a little bit. Come on now. Japan was cool. Japan, honestly, is my first time being out of the country. And it was so fun, boy. Like, I really felt like, I really just felt like a little kid just because of how fun <laughs> everything was. Just like how much anime and like the things that I enjoy is so influenced out there by billboards and uh, anime figurines everywhere. Like, I could have got anything I want that I love. So it was just a great time to just be there. Nah, man, that sounds amazing for sure. I got to make my way out there one of these days, but. Uh, just hearing you really enjoy that moment is what it's all about. But I know obviously big season coming up. This is year number two that you're with the Saints. What's the vibes feeling like in New Orleans, man? Are you ready to take down? Oh yeah, we just ready to go, man. This is a real business mindset team. Um, we got a lot of vets on this team that are just ready to just win a Super Bowl, really. And that's just our mindset going into it. We just know we just need to do our job, handle our business and just let it fall out. But it's literally just us just handling business, being together, being a team, um, just handling the adversities and really just keeping our head forward, head fast and just knowing what we want. So we'll be all right. We got a purpose. We know what we're doing. There it is. I got no doubt about that. Now, this is year two in New Orleans for you. So that does beg the question, since you've been there, my man, thus far, what has been your favorite part of being in New Orleans? Oh, is this place called Nola Motorsports, and it's basically go karts. And I like go, Ooh. yeah, I like to go. I like to go fast at a certain limit. Go karts is my limit. Like I can still drift. I can do all that and still be moving like fast. Like I like speed. I like anything with drifting in it. Like anything I could start sliding in it. That's my thing, boy. Like Tokyo Drift, like the ding, 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 ding. <laughs> That's, that right there is the <laughs> what got me started the drifting. Then after that, I got Need for Speed. Like I do all the, I do anything with drifting in it. And like we went go kart racing for a team activity. And then after that, I literally started going like pretty much almost every weekend or anytime I had a chance to go. And it's really just a fun time, like just being out there and just enjoying it, like just feeling free, feeling like I know what I'm doing, trying to get faster at it, cause I'm competitive. And I like, once I like something, I start trying to teach myself how I can get better at it. And I'll start asking people who have been there forever of just how you start driving, what you learn from it. So I really just like speed at a certain extent, that's all. So is it safe to assume that if I challenge you to a go-kart race, we're throwing down? Oh, I'm going to beat you, boy. I'm going to have fun, too. I'm going to be looking at you. I'm going to be talking mess and everything, boy. I'm, like, I'll be talking all types of mess. I'll be, I be doing gestures like, come on, come on, like right next to it and everything. Go-kart racing, is, I take it serious. I'm really trying to get into it. Okay, I respect that. We'll see how that goes down. We'll, we'll make that happen at some point. For sure. All right, Jamal, well, we'll keep ironing out those details. But in the meantime, guys, we're going to take a quick break and hear a word from our friends over at Maddie. 
Calling all middle school and high school Madden players. Do you think you have what it takes to be one of the best in the country? The NFL and Play Versus are teaming up to bring you Madden NFL Youth Championships. Registration is now open. Players ages 13 to 18 in the U.S. can compete for their chance to win a trip to the 2025 Pro Bowl games in Orlando. Learn more and sign up for free via the QR code on your screen or by visiting playversus.com forward slash MYC. All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm still here chopping it up with my man, Jamal Williams. And Jamal, I mean, around this time, we know the city's got to be going crazy. But before the season even starts, man, what are the vibes feeling like in New Orleans right now? Oh... Honestly, they so festive all the time. <laughs> like, no matter what holiday it is, no matter the truth, what's happening, there's always something's happening around here. But luckily, me, the you know the introvert I am, I love my walls a lot more in DoorDash and you know Uber <laughs> Lyft. That's what I do. Uber Eats, my bad. So I I still get out just a little bit, and I'd yep. be like, man, like it, I don't even have to leave my house sometimes for people to be outside. I'm used to block parties for Halloween, 4th of July. It's like the holidays around here is is very just family festive and there's always a party happening. So I, I, I get outside even when I don't leave outside. Okay, so like it, it, the party's coming to you whether you like it or not. Is that just something that as you've been in New Orleans for the last two years, you've just kind of gotten used to at this point? Yeah, you just let it happen. That's just them. They just having fun, man. And it's great to see it, you know, like it makes me feel better for holidays because I don't have to do jack. I don't have to get no fireworks, nothing. <laughs> like none, no, nothing festive at all because I know I'm going to see it outside. No doubt about that, man. I feel that. Well, it is going to be a very festive episode for show. And I guess it's about that time that we introduce the next member of our team to make this show happen. Coming all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio, it is the homie K Dot. My boy. Yeah, what's up, bro? It's good to see you. It's again. great to have you. Yes, in sir. The we building. back. We you back. And, you and Jamal, yeah. perfect team for a good show. Yes, sir. Yes, Obviously. sir. Got Jamal. The dynamic duo. Oh, come on now. Got Jamal cooling, man. Well, talk to me a little bit, bro. How was the trip out here to LA? Oh, the trip was smooth. Uh, I left Cincinnati at like five, six in the morning. Oh, dang. It was like a four hour uh, flight and I went to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, and I had this big dog next to me, so I wasn't moving. I couldn't go to the restroom. Uh, so, oh, <laughs> they, they had you know. in the bulkhead? What's it? I don't know, man. The whole the whole row was just dogs. And, okay. And service dogs. I'm like, all right, that's cool. So I just went to sleep. Couldn't do nothing. I missed my snacks. I missed the drinks, but oh, it's okay. Yeah. That's the only man. thing they gave for free on that's that. That's the only thing they gave for free. So <laughs> I'm like, it's all good though. It's all good. It was cool though. It was yeah. cool. It was nah, cool I fight. appreciate you making the trek up to, to kick it with me and Jamal for oh, sure. Of course. But your summer in general, my boy, how's that been treating you? Oh man, my summer is full of work, man. I, I just got um the job for the Twitch Unity Guild leader. Yep. Uh congrats so, on man, that by the way. Appreciate you, appreciate you. So it's been full of work, full of trying to lock in and just really trying to step into some roles that I really feel like I, you know, I fit and that I belong in. And on top of just trying to spend time with family, Definitely. my niece and my nephew, my brothers and my sister, and my, my mom and pops, that's it. I felt that. Well, outside of obviously the, the workflow when it comes time mm -hmm. for you to have some fun, right? Obviously you do, yeah. do a lot of streaming. What have you been playing recently? Oh, I've been playing Black Myth, Wukong. Uh, is that game gas like everybody says? Because it looks good. That game is gas, but you gotta like like the lore. If you like Dragon Ball Z, you should like Wukong. Okay. If you like One Piece, you should like Wukong. If you like, if you know about God of High School, you should like it. So if you into like the lore, yep. if you into Journey of the West, you're gonna love Black Myth Wukong because the gameplay is already there, then the plot is there, and it brings it together as a, like a full game. I don't see why people don't like it. Uh, I also been playing Dragon Ball Project Multi. Okay. It's a MOBA game that Dragon Ball Z just dropped. I heard that's good. Yes. Okay. I don't even like MOBAs. I hate okay. MOBAs. I will never play it. I'm not playing League of Legends. I'm not playing Smite, but I'll play Pokemon Unite <laughs> and I will play uh, Project Multi. As long as anime, I'm in. <laughs> okay. Uh, and the last one, I forgot what's my last game, but those two mainly I've been I've been playing and focusing on. Okay. Can't be mad at that. Nope. Now, you are from Cincinnati, so I have to ask. Yeah, is it, the it, <laughs> <laughs> I have to ask, is your focus at all <laughs> on our friends, uh, the Bengals? You know what I'm saying? Uh, this season, I would say yes. Last year, okay. I didn't watch a lot of sports at all. This year, I've been trying to focus more on sports, so I've been watching FC Cincinnati. I've been paying attention to the Bengals, even nice. though we lost every goddamn game on on the preseason. And then on top of that, I also uh, been trying to lock in with the Reds and everything. So I've just been really trying to be in tune with the city and my sports. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm not mad at that at all. 
and I will preference you with this, the preseason is just that preseason. I know, bro. It has no bearings. Look, I... All right. Yeah, it's I'm okay. You're new to you're new to it, so okay. you haven't gotten acclimated. To that me and Jamal, we know about that. Don't worry about preseason. Look, but everybody keeps telling me that. But I don't like L's. We need to win. Okay. So I can feel good about it. Nothing wrong with that. I need well, to win so I can go to the game. I feel that. <laughs> well, look, I'm feeling good about today's episode for sure. We have two of the biggest anime heads in the business here in Jamal and Kada. And Kada, for you, I think it would be fun to hear some of your anime hot takes. I think we got that video queued up right now. Let's take a look. Are underrated. Um. All right, Black Clover is severely hated and underrated. I want to say right now with Story of Wand and Sword is very underrated. And let's go with, I, I, it's not it's not underrated, but I'm going blue locks. A lot of people don't understand why it's soccer and why it's so like hype and why I should, why people should watch this. Go blue lock, lock that in. It's a newer soccer anime. A lot of people trying to figure out why it's better than Haikyuu. And it's really because it doesn't matter about teamwork. It's, it's a matter about what's inside. Like if you're a dog and you're hungry, and you want to go get your goals, you're going to go get it. Yeah. But it doesn't rely on teamwork. It just relies on you and your dog inside. That's it. Oh, One Piece. That's easy. One Piece for sure. Ah, oh, y'all going to get a lot of hate for this, but Dragon Ball Z. And that's, the, but look, hear me out though. That's only because if it wasn't for the nostalgia factor, is it really that good? The plot's not that good. Let's just be honest. That's why it's overrated. And, um, can I put One Piece twice? All right, One Piece twice. Yeah, I'm locking that in. One Piece twice, yup. <laughs> Ooh, Kane from Naruto. And that's because everything he was doing was very valid. Like he was getting treated wrong in his village. They were getting killed during the war and nobody's really trying to help him, especially out the Leaf Village. He noticed all the Leaf people were coming there to fight a war and his people was the catalyst of it. Like they were, becoming orphans, they were dying, they weren't eating. So for sure, pain, I'm, I'm going with Naruto, Madara. And that's just because he's him. I would, I, would act that, I would act that way too if I helped lead a village to the top and I didn't get no love, I got hated, the younger brother didn't treat me with the same respect that the older brother did, so I would act crazy and go out on my way and, and try to steal what's mine. And then another villain. This ain't really justified. He's a good villain though, Aizen. He's just a good villain. I think what he did is still wrong, <laughs> but I like him, I like what he did, and you can't go wrong with him being a good villain. So we gonna Aizen, gonna lock that in from Bleach. Be good football players. Ooh, what's, what's bro name from JJK Toto? When he clap and he, and he disappear? Oh, that's easy touchdown. That's all he gotta do is clap and go to the touchdown, and he's big and buff. Who's gonna be a crazy receiver? I'ma go Chigiri from Blue Lock because he's super fast. As soon as you say Hutter, go, he's gone, he's gonna beat you. And I'ma go Naruto just because that's my favorite character and he got that dog in him. You give him the ball, I'm pretty sure he's gonna make a touchdown happen, he's gonna make a play happen, and it's gonna be memorable every time. Yup, exactly. Everybody gonna love to see him. Yup. It's game time. Celebrate the return of NFL season and complete kickoff challenges and crush the competition. Build your ultimate team of NFL superstars, compete in events alongside real world NFL schedule and dominate the gridiron. Download Madden NFL 25 mobile now. All right, well, it is game time here as well as I do have Jamal and KDOT chilling with me. And we're going to kick things off first with Madden. All right, now I'm going to start with you, KDOT, because I already know you've, done, you've admitted to us that your sports knowledge is it's growing. It's a little limited yeah. right now, but it's growing. Yep. Have you ever played a Madden title? Bro, the last time I played Madden, Drew Brees is on the cover, and I think that was 2011. Okay, <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I play, I play, I play uh, <laughs> with the college football though. Okay. I just played that, nice. so you know I got I got some experience, but yeah, that's that's so unfair. Like <laughs> I, I'm interested to see how this works because I was talking to Jamal. He was kicking up. He was like, "Give me a fighting game or something like that." We're gonna we're gonna throw you a little bit of a curveball, Jamal, with some Madden. Now, when's the last time you? actually got on the sticks. Unfortunately, is my <laughs> I get it for free, so I just play it just cuz. So it's basically almost like homework. But sometimes right. I don't I don't like it sometimes cuz people be finding the glitch plays and all that stuff, but 
it's whatever. I'm all right, though. I'm all right. <laughs> Okay, all right. That, listen, I don't think you have to worry about the glitch plays with Kate out here. Hey. He's gonna be reading the instruction manual. You nah, know. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna figure out the glitch. <laughs> I'm so he glad, said he boy. Will. Thank all you. Right. I'll figure it out. Some he said go out. figure something out. I'm not mad about that. Well, who, who, what team are you gonna select? You are not capped into picking the No Bengals. Super Bowl right teams. Now. Do not pick a no team in the Super Bowl. No Super Bowl. You, you already know how to play the game. I should be able to pick a oh, Super Bowl team. Oh my gosh. Go ahead, go ahead, you good. I heard you. You good. Yeah, that's cool. But I don't know, I might pick my city. <laughs> might pick Not too city. many people got a football team in their city. I might pick my city and rep it. Yeah, might be repping. Now, Jamal, are you contractually obligated to pick the yes. Saints? Yes. I have to pick the Saints. I'm asking you. My fair, I mean, my favorite team growing up was the, the Rams. So it's like. Run mm, it up. But I pick, I pick my home. I pick team. I pick work. Don't worry. I pick my work team. We good. <laughs> he said, I pick work. <laughs> I like, I like the uh, the competitiveness there. But he's still gonna give you a chance to shine. All right. Well, let's get the let's get the sticks and load up and get this game started. Oh, here we at home, yo. <laughs> we in my city. It look good too. All right, but yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, bro. I think it's only appropriate that you get home field advantage, considering the fact. You're the newer guy. You know what I'm saying? Heard you, heard you. I'm about to get mad, bro. <laughs> That's fire. <laughs> I, I, w I feel like every year they do, like, especially like they up the graphics, which I really appreciate. Like, it's just a good looking game, bro. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, we Ooh, wide open. That's funny. So crazy. That's was, I blitz, too. I blitz. I'm that sick. Was... I see you. I see you, Mr. Feisty, man. You bringing the blitzes, I see. Yeah, man. I gotta make quick decisions. You said you wasn't throwing the ball. That was a misdirect, bro. You believe that? Yes, I believe that. Don't do that. Yes, I should. Don't do that. I didn't. You know what? Okay. <laughs> you a villain, I see. <laughs> got his kickoff on look for you. Money. Take that. Take it to the house. A little bit. No. Okay. All right. Oh, look at Alvin getting a tackle. <laughs> Luckily, you're not streaming, so your chat can't really roast you. I'm, you ain't gotta I worry feel about like it. somebody is. Actually, that's a good question, Kata. How did you get into streaming originally? What's so funny is Fortnite. Fortnite got you into Fortnite streaming. Fortnite got me into streaming. Really? I wanted to be a, the, one of the top uh, Fortnite content creators like Daquan, Hamlins. And I was in college, and I was trying so hard to uh, just learn how to for just play Fortnite. Like, yep. I was doing 90s. I was building. I was doing all that. I'm going to let you know, I play I play football like, like sandpaper, slow and rough. Slow and rough. Okay. <laughs> you say that. I think that's really. pretty obvious, Jamal. <laughs> Your game plan is laid out, my brother. Yeah, like, relax, bro. <laughs> no, I see that. Oh he, got, oh, he got you scouted out this time, Jamal. You got I know, I see. Funny. He playing defense right now. Mm -hmm. I got to. Defense wins games. <laughs> that's the only way. Nope. How you missed? That was your only job. <laughs> he hopped at the end. Bro, that was, man. Jamal, did you hop at the end? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, Jamal, real quick. I want to know, since you got a little dominating performance right now, in your career, where's your favorite place that you've actually gotten to play, like home or away? My favorite place to play at? Yeah. It's between, because I'm from Cali, so it was between playing in the USC stadium where the well, the Rams used to play at first before they had so okay. far. And then I like uh, Levi Stadium. Even though you went to Green Bay, Lambeau don't make it on the list? Oh, we gone. There you go. We gone. Oh, we gone. Put the burners on. Hold on. You put might you might on. earn that contract. Put the burners on. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, Man, stop playing. Yeah, we come you on. Can thank me, bro. I was distracted. No, nah, you wouldn't. Hey, don't do that. I still, you don't, I still me to don't go believe for it. it yet. I'm not getting out of that defense or that play yet. I'm going to stay in it. <laughs> Oh, that was a nice yeah. throw. I like that. I like that. I'm this is actually pretty good, man. Only a seven-point game. I need some highlights, kid. I need some hate. I need I some seen highlights. seen it. That's not the right kind of highlight. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh what you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh my yeah. God, bro. What are you doing? Bro. Then you going to stop. Like, you disrespectful, oh, yeah. bro. <laughs> you really a villain. All right, Jamal. Let's see what that kickoff looking like. Bro, it's nice. Don't, don't worry. Even. We good. We got it. You sweating, bro. Like, for what? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, that that's a fumble. fumble. Oh, that's live. Oh, that's yeah. a live ball. That's a live ball. Oh, yeah. That's a score. Oh. Who is 90, bro? I need you to call him right now so I can. Hey, the crazy part is he's not even that big. That's a crazy part. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm proud of myself because I didn't think I was going to score. That's fair. 
I swear Jamal's a troll, bro. And this is inevitable. There you go, air it out. Yeah. Oh, wrong person! The I seen that, bro. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, my brother, you gotta start running the ball. And then he know the covers I'm in, like. You're not playing, bro. Oh yeah. That's oh wow, he got that too. That's Oh yeah. Hey, that hey, hey that guy looking pretty good I'm right there. I'm not gonna there. lie to y'all. If it touch 40 on his screen, y'all gotta cut it Dang. off. Hey, we gotta hit technical difficulties or something. <laughs> yeah, Jamal's gonna say they did you dirty with that. <laughs> I got a double. <laughs> hey, I look like uh, Peter Griffin, boy. I got that double team. Well, look, I'm gonna I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna talk <laughs> some, something a little bit about y'all that y'all both can relate with that'll hopefully help ease the pain. Let's talk a little bit about some anime, okay? Now we heard from you earlier, K Dot, which is always fun. But Jamal, I want to know real quick, my boy, top three anime of all time. What we got? Oh, I, I put Naruto in there just because it's it's really it for me. Like that was my first one. Did you just start Naruto running for real? Did y'all just see that? You can do that on the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can get a little tricky with it. And you know how to do that? No, 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 no. Forty to seven. That's is a little insane. rough. I'm not gonna <laughs> We're going here. Any opportunities right now? K dot, K dot, K dot, please. Just go. Ah! Just go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trying to go. Bro. Figuring something. Oh my God. Yeah, like I said, I'm scoring. There it is. He said it. He meant it. He did it. Now, Jamal, I remember you started your own foundation, the Jamal Williams Foundation, last year. Uh, so obviously, you are charitable outside of Madden. Uh, <laughs> If I can ask you, what motivated you to start your own foundation? Really, I was just trying to do what I can for others with the platform that I got. And it's really just having fun with it, really. Like just having the opportunity to do those things is what you should do. Just make sure that you, your legacy is helping others be a good person. Nah, nah, I, I appreciate that. I mean, you're obviously very involved in your community. And as you just said, man, dedicated to making a difference, which I think is, is huge. Like of all the stuff that you've done thus far, is there any like particular like piece of charity that's really stood out for you that you got to be a part of so far? I, I get a thrill out of kids who like literally come up and be like, oh my gosh, like I've never had one of these or I've never done this before. Like this is really something that's cool to me. Like I get, I just get a thrill out of just authentication, real, like just people being just grateful for what's happening for them. And then, but I try to let people know that it's okay to do things the right way because the right way sometimes is the long way, it's the hardest way. Like, mm -hmm. it's not going to be the easiest way. Like, it's going to have, it's going to come with adversity. And that's real as hell, bro. See, K Dot, that's just for you, bro. You can score more points. Hey, Rook, stop. That's hey, right to you, stop. brother. I'm trying to bring that's, everything talking right to, to you right, right now. Because what happened to that charity question where y'all should have said he should have been nice to me? Well, he did let you score. He didn't earn that. He oh, didn't yeah. let me do nothing. Seven seconds of misery left, K-Dot. Feel free. It's almost over. Oh, it's okay. It's almost it's over. Almost over. There it is. What are we going to do? What are we going to air it out? Air it out. Air it out. Oh, I caught he, it. He, he caught it, but it was out of bounds. That's ridiculous yeah. that he caught that, though. Like, <laughs> hey, team, do that. Game. Good game, Final. k -Dot. Good game, brother. I appreciate it. This is my first time playing Madden years. All right. Well, that was our Madden portion of uh -huh. the episode. That was insane. Uh, definitely plenty of laughs always come out of Madden. And KDOT, appreciate you for being a really good sport.